Welcome to Hot Mess Issues today. Go ahead. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues you want to talk about, don't hesitate to get them to me. Today, I have on the drug bag. And the issue I want to talk about is weed, grass, ganja, and a host of other names that it goes by. When are we going to just legalize it? All over the world. I mean, you got plenty of places where they smoke it, you know, but all of these places that get all up in arms about you know, grass, I mean, just legalize it. We get tons of it coming in, tons of it being grown in key places. And, you know, we could just legalize it, have control over it. A lot of times it's more therapeutic than, you know, definitely tobacco. Look at all the thousands and thousands and thousands of people all over the world are smoked the tobacco and that's legal they might as well make you know make weed legal and just put some other restrictions as far as no different from like alcohol you can't smoke and drive you can't drink and drive and if you do, then there are consequences. But if you're at home or you're even outside in the park sitting on a bench, why shouldn't you be able to just light it up and smoke? You know, people light up and smoke cigarettes. But the whole idea is government and the... Uh, organizations trying to control it so they can make money to keep the average person from making money it's just crazy you know but it still will help a lot of economies it still will be a money maker for the government because they'll tax it just like they tax cigarettes you know so it'll be a win-win for everybody instead of throwing all of these wasted billions of dollars to try to control it and stop it, which is not working and hasn't worked for decades. Not that they really want it to work, but the fact that you keep throwing all of that money into all of these drug programs and anti-drug programs and control and weed is still being grown, sold, distributed all over and almost with the greatest of ease for every one or two trucks that they stop, 50 trucks make it through, 50 cars make it through. 50 mules make it through. It's just, you know, an act to put on. But the whole idea is, one, you'll have more controls if you just make it legal. And, you know, that'll run a lot of the illegal operators out of business. Because they'll be able to, you know, get weed anywhere. So why worry about getting it underground or getting it from some sources that you may not feel 100% comfortable with. Whereas if it was legal, it could have um, controls like the same controls that have uh, in, in agriculture and you'll know what chemicals and all of that is being um, used to grow it or uh, make it better. But now, the way it is, you don't know what's on it. And especially if it's mixed with something like fentanyl, you know, so it's a, it's a whole big risky game 
instead that can be eliminated by just legalizing it. But we won't do it, or should I say the government won't do it right away until they squeeze and misuse every last dollar that they can and then all of a sudden it's gonna become legal you know they could just do that now it was the same thing with alcohol prohibition and all of that and then all of a sudden one day it was legal and that ran you know basically all the moonshiners and and all of those people that was trafficking in the uh, underground alcohol distribution world out of business. Now, you know, if they were to legalize marijuana, I think the economy would pretty much bounce to a position where it would be more stable than what it is now. And if anything, if the people, <laughs> the population would be a lot more chilled, a lot cooler than the way it is now. Now, of course, like I say, with the restrictions, you know, you have no smoking and driving. You have no operation of major equipment while, you know, under the influence. Of course, anybody that's um, on duty with a gun wouldn't be able to smoke. Anybody flying aircraft, they wouldn't be able to smoke. So, it's a way to make it work. And all we have to do is just sit down and put that energy and putting the guidelines and restrictions in place and stop wasting all of these billions of dollars to try to stop something that they really don't want stopped because the time to stop it was decades ago. Right now, it's unstoppable. It's almost as much marijuana being grown in the United States as the marijuana that's crossing the border. So that's my take on marijuana, hashish, weed, grass, let's have a good smoke and get it on. This has been Hot Mess Issue Today, The Hit. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and support me.